In this video, we're going to look at how to replace the arrow keys on any Apple MacBook, MacBook Air or MacBook Pro, which features the scissor style clips. To remove the right arrow, you can insert your key tool under the bottom corner and keep your finger on the left hand side to make sure the key cap doesn't shoot off. You can then gently raise the arrow key like that until you hear it click. And that is the sound of the keycap detaching from the clip. To then completely remove it, you can insert your tool on the left hand side, like so, and gently push the arrow key to the left, like that. The right arrow has one, two small hooks, which attach here and here. It also has one, two clasps, which attach here and here. To remove the clip, you can insert your key tool underneath your right hand side pins and gently push, like so, on the top and also on the bottom as well. And then the clip will be detached from the keyboard. To reinsert the clip, you should first make sure that the clip is the correct way around. You can see here that we have a square or a rectangle and that is the left hand side of the clip and that attaches to this hook here. So to reattach the clip we can insert it like so, making sure that it's hooked on and also slid all the way to the right. You can then apply a small amount of pressure to clip it back into place. Then to reinsert the arrow keycap you should gently raise the right hand side of the clip, like so. You'll see that that also raises the left hand side of the clip. When that's raised, you can insert the keycap, like so, and that will allow you to slide the keycap on, which means it's now hooked on. Then once you remove your tool, you can apply a small amount of pressure to the right hand side, like so, to click it back into place. To remove the left arrow keycap, you should keep your finger on the left hand side to prevent the arrow from shooting off. You can then insert your key tool under the right hand side and gently pry it up like so until you hear a click like that. You can then insert your key tool under the left hand side and gently raise the keycap and slide the arrow key to the left like that to completely remove it. To then remove the clip you can insert your key tool and push a underneath the pin, like so, and then the same for the bottom pin, like so, to completely remove it. When reinserting the clip, it's important to make sure that the clip's the correct way around. So this rectangle here goes on the left hand side and attaches to the hook here. To reattach the clip, simply place it over the slot like so, making sure that the clip is now attached to the hook, sliding the key clip all the way to the right hand side to make sure that it's fully attached, and then gently apply some pressure to the right hand side of the clip, like so. You should hear or feel it click into place. To then reinsert the arrow keycap, you can see here that we have one, two hooks on the bottom left, and also one, two clasps, the hooks will attach to these pins here and the clasps will attach to these pins here. So to reinsert it you should gently raise the clip from the right hand side like so and then slide the keycap to the right to hook it on. You can then apply a small amount of pressure to the right hand side of the keycap to click it into place. To remove the upper row from the keyboard you can insert your key tool under the left hand side like so keeping your finger placed on the right hand side to prevent the keycap from shooting off and apply a small amount of pressure raising the keycap like so to detach it from the clip. You can then insert your key tool under the right hand side like so raising it up and slide the arrow key to the right hand side to unhook it from the clip below. You can then remove the clip in exactly the same way that was shown earlier on with the left arrow and with the right arrow. 
To reattach the keycap, you should insert your key tool under the left hand side of the clip, gently raising it. You'll see that the clip on the right hand side also raises. This is what allows us to hook the keycap back in place. You can then apply a small amount of pressure to the left hand side, clipping the keycap back in place. To then remove the bottom keycap, you start on the opposite side, inserting your tool under the bottom right, like so, keeping your finger placed on the left hand side of the keycap and gently prying the keycap upwards like that. You can then insert your key tool under the left hand side of the keycap, raising it up and then slide the keycap to the left to completely remove it like so. You can then remove the clip in exactly the same way that was shown earlier on with the left arrow and the right arrow. To then reattach the keycap, you can insert your key tool under the right hand side of the clip, which also raises the left hand side of the clip like so. You can then slide the keycap to the right like that, hooking it on. And then you can apply a small amount of pressure to the right hand side of the keycap, clicking it back into place. If you need a replacement key for your laptop, you can visit macreplacementkeys.com and use our helpful key finder form. From here, you can select your device. In this case, we'll put a MacBook Pro. You can then insert your model number. In this case, I'll put A1708. If you're not sure where to find your model number, you can find that on the bottom of your laptop. And it will look something like this. You can then press buy replacement keys and then simply select the keycaps and clips should you need them that you need from the drop-down. And then press add to basket. And then check out with your preferred payment method.